So what's up YouTube? I was thinking about making a video because I saw the uh, what the test screenings did for that new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. And I was thinking about doing a video, but my buddy is a really uh, avid fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I was going to get him to give me some feedback on it. So um, hold on a second. I'll try to get him on the phone. It'd be very interested to get his uh, his take on it because, like I said, he loves the first one, but I don't think he is too keen on the rest of them. I don't know where he's at. What's taking so long? You fall. You fall. Where is it? It's life and death. Oh, hey, man. Hey, Tom. What's going on? How you doing? Yeah, I was getting ready to do that video we were talking about. I finally sat down and decided to do it. I felt so strongly about that test screening video we watched. And um, I was just going to try to get your thoughts on the series up until this point. You know, I really like the Toby Hooper follow-up Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Um, what were your thoughts? Well, say it's a bomb. Then say, say whatever you want. Say whatever you like. Just get it off the air. Well, I didn't think it was that bad. Calling it a bomb... Well, you know, they're worse because they kept on making them and they didn't seem to get... What, what were your thoughts as you were hearing and watching the, all these, uh, you know, the one of the sequels and stuff that came afterwards? You know, like... Yeah, you know, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Ronnie, stop it, please. For God's sake, please stop it. There's no more time. And then what were you thinking when they made, like, uh, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Was it a new beginning with Matthew McConaughey and Renee Zellweger? Turn it off. Stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. But what about like you know they did the prequel, Leatherface. Yeah, and then they did that Texas Chainsaw 3D, which is supposed to be a direct sequel. But we saw how that turned out. What were you thinking then? Turn it off. Stop it. Yeah, and then you know after we heard about the the test screenings, um, what's your final thoughts? What they should be doing? Stop it! Yeah, all right, thanks, man. Well, I think you know where we're going with this. Before we get into the test screening results of the new test, Texas Chainsaw Massacre sequel, quote unquote, uh, give my video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And after you subscribe, make sure you please do hit the notification bell because when I when I post new videos and new reaction reviews and new toy hunts, to, toy reviews, movie reviews, movie hunts, you'll be the first to know and you can come over and check it out and um, keep supporting the channel. So let's like uh, I think I ruined Tom. I don't think he's going to be part of this um, reaction video, but I'll be here and let's talk about the test screening that just happened of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre sequel. Let's go. So what's up YouTube? Like I said, we're going to just talk about, I'm not going to do an in-depth review obviously because I haven't seen it, but I'm going to give you my first take on um, some of the reaction that I heard after uh, I watched a video yesterday on somebody who did see the test screening and reported back to a friend of theirs. Um, it was a video by a guy I follow called Mr. H Reviews on um, uh, YouTube. And after hearing his his reaction to what his buddy told him during the test screening, I'm fearful about this movie. I will say this, that going into it, I was really looking forward to it. Um, hearing that they were thinking about bringing back the actual Leatherface from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre and continuing his story, or possibly maybe ending it, um, because, you know, he's an, um, an elderly guy now, probably 60s, almost going on 70. I thought it was fairly interesting. Um, they did it successfully with um halloween 2018 with jamie lee curtis coming back and being that a direct sequel to the original so even though that's a copy of that 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 was a good idea and that turned out to be a good movie so then um i did see the poster and um wasn't sure what that meant i mean it was it just the original mask just the artwork of that now after hearing the synopsis i think i kind of know what it is and it doesn't help me you know like it anymore um, but then, the, you know, her hearing that the character of um, Sally Hardesty, who survived the original movie, was going to come back and be a character in this. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, 
kind of like Jamie Lee Curtis coming back. So it had some positives. But then um, I heard that after they did some, you know, we're in the middle of filming it. The, the original, I think that they say the director ended up dropping out and um, for creative differences. And they turned it over to somebody new, like after it had already started filming. And then now that the test screenings have been, have been happened and is when is it going to come out now? I don't think they've officially announced it wasn't it going to be like november of this year or something and it are they going to even have if it does negative you know test screenings like the one that just happened are they going to even have time to do reshoots so i'm kind of worried but I, let's go ahead i'm going to read you the plot synopsis of the internet movie database and i'll let you know whether based on that is it did i hear things that tie into this during that uh, test screening review that i watched so it says another sequel to the original texas chainsaw massacre the spiritual sequel to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre takes place 47 years later. Melody is a 25-year-old San Francisco moneymaker who drags her younger teenage sister with her to Texas on a business trip out of fear of leaving her alone in the city. The younger sister, Dreama, is only a, is an a- amateur photographer who is wheelchair-bound and is not, it's not long until they're fighting for their lives against a 60-year-old Leatherface. Well, Leatherface, if he's 60 and it was 47 years ago, that would, he was not 13 years old in the original. Let's just say he was 20. I mean, he had to be 67, so the guy's almost pushing 70. So there's one of my first issues. Um, the, I'm not going to go in depth because if you do, I'll put the link below and you can watch the, the video that I'm talking about from Mr. H. But what he said was, is it was it about, uh, you know, the town where, uh, I guess, Leatherface is residing with his mother, um, that a lot of millennials are coming in and they're starting to partner up and buy up some of the land and they're going to build it up, I guess, as a new community. And uh, when they get there, they discover one of the properties, uh, something about a, a Confederate flag being hanging up on it and they were going to go remove it. And when they go in, they find Leatherface is living there with his mother. So if he's like 70, she's got to be, what, like 90 so I don't know who's playing the mother and I don't know whether she really is that age, but at least they're trying to be true to the ages of the people. Unlike that last sequel, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D, where the main character should have been in her 40s at least, if not 50, and she was in her 20s. And then they, it was supposed to be in the 90s and they had like an iPhone in one of the scenes, but I digress. So the problem that I've got with this is, supposedly in that scene, Something happens to the mother and she ends up having a heart attack and they end up in, uh, I guess, an ambulance or some uh, emergency vehicle and they're traveling to the hospital. And uh, I think they said that uh, Leatherface is unmasked. Obviously, he's not wearing his, you know, any skin or anything on his face, but you don't see his face much. He's kept in the darkness. So I guess that's kind of cool. But his mother ends up dying and then Leatherface ends up killing everybody that's in the emergency vehicle. And the supposedly, and this is spoiler, so leave if you don't want to hear any more of this. Supposedly, the, the mask that's on the poster is he cuts his own mother's face off and wears it for the remainder of the movie. So I guess, you know, they're trying to mix everything here. Like he's got a Norman Bakes complex, I guess. But either way, um, wants his mother to be with him forever. But supposedly, you know, that's when he uh, goes after the rest of the millennials and kills a bunch of them. And then uh, from what I understand, Sally Hardesty was listening to the emergency channel or on a CB or a radio or something. And she hears about the accident and about Leatherface killing him. So she comes after him, uh, trying to stop his rampage. So they just blatantly stole that scene, I guess. Uh, you know, it sounds like from Halloween 2018 when Lori listened to the radio when they're transferring Michael. But whatever. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to get dig too deep, but uh, I just got problems with it right there. They say during all these scenes where Leatherface is going after these people that he's running around and you wouldn't even be able to tell that he's a 60 to 70 year old man. So that's a little unrealistic. So supposedly those two sisters, I think they said something about, um, Toward the end of the movie, he ends up capturing them, uh, but no, they end up getting away. They call and get their Tesla to, uh, to autopilot there to, to rescue them. And he, uh, pulls one of them out of the vehicle 
and ends up slicing their head off with a chainsaw while the other one's driving away and she can't do anything to stop because the vehicle's in autopilot mode to disappear. And then they say that, you know, she can only look back as she saw her sister being decapitated. And then supposedly Leatherface, you know, does some sort of dance like he did in the original movie, twirling the chainsaw. And then the movie goes off as he is walking away and returning back to the original house from the, you know, from the first movie. Um, it sounds okay, but I don't know, man. The, the test screening said that the movie was like really short, between less than 90 minutes. There was some good gore shots, but the plot was basically hot garbage. The dialogue was bad. The setup to, Maz, to bring Sally in there to me sounds cheesy. Um, the leather face being running around and not showing signs of age is cheesy. How he gets his mask. I don't know, man. It, what is wrong with this series? I mean, like they've got a really good property. You've got Leatherface. You've got that built-in, um, you know, the fan base from the original. And every time we get a sequel, I'll, I kind of like the second one, but I understand with it being more of a comedy, how a dark comedy, how a lot of people don't. But after that one, everything is basically hot garbage. I mean, they can't they can't do anything right, and it sounds like this one is, is going to be no different. I'll really, I'll see it just because I've seen all the other ones. I'm just going to hope for the best that maybe they'll change some stuff up in this test screening. But I don't know, and I'm not giving my going to get my hopes up too high. So, what do you think? Have you heard about the rumors? Have you heard about the behind the scenes drama of this movie? Have you heard about the test screening and how crappy it was and how people were disappointed? What do you think? Or you think you're going to look for, still be looking forward to this movie after hearing all this disappointing news? Let me know in the comments below. After you do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm really trying to grow this channel up in 2021. Can only do that with great people like you. Then after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell and you'll be the first to know when I post new reaction videos, movie reviews, toy reviews, everything pop culture later. That's what we do here because I'm JeffMan316, your pop culture reporter, and I'm going to sign out right now and say, you guys be safe out there. And please, Tom, what do you think? Do we need more Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies? Turn it off. Stop it. Please stop it. Stop it! Stop it!